And it was, and it was, you know, hit here, and then me, it was like, all through the back. And then yeah, but they shot him three or four times, too. On the jacket, though. No, yeah. Right? Well, also, he, co- I mean, partially, he covered me with his body, and also, um, they just aren't good shots, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so besides those... Yeah, no, they missed you a lot earlier. Besides those, yeah. action, besides those sequences, violent sequences, and action, uh, everybody's saying that they love the, the, the conversations that you guys have. It's pretty, like, funny. I mean... Was any improvisation in that? Yeah, I mean, there was a, there was some improvisation. I think ninety five percent of it was written. Um, but the thing is, is that we rehearsed it so much um, that we would always try to do different things. You know what I mean? To make it because if not rehearsal, can get kind of boring. And so we kept stump like trying to stump each other, like, and you know, do different things. I'm like, I remember you know, he would throw a ball at me or something, <laughs> like different little things to try to make it alive. Because this movie lives and dies off like how real it is and how you know improvisational it looks, and that's what we wanted to do from the very beginning. I remember there was a couple times that he stumped me when I when I was like, what? "Oh, he started the scene. Oh, good, 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 good." You know, with any kind of question or, or whatever. And uh, but there was a couple of things that we kept saying over and over and over again. Like David kept saying, "You should marry a Mexican girl." You know, yeah. you know, you know <laughs> <laughs> really good, huh? It always said that to me. And, yeah. and that came from, that whole scene is improv, yeah, that, that scene. Because it I, came from, came yeah. from Dave saying that. And I was a coffee lover, but I think, <laughs> I'm the coffee lover, really. Well, at that time I was, I don't drink coffee anymore, but he, uh, uh, I read, you know, stuff white people like. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. I love that. I was like, I gotta toss it to him. He was about to throw sea salt out there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no donuts at least. Right? And my, my favorite one is taking a year off. <laughs> so this movie obviously has a lot oh of God. comedy in it. And yeah. last time uh-huh. Michael and I talked was for Tower Heist, and he was like, I don't know if I'll do any comedy, but he was really. Comedic, even though it was very real and dramatic. So, yeah. but this was, was interesting yes. because this, I mean, I just saw him in a play, by the way, that's fantastic, like really, really great play, and he's awesome in it. And what's really hard to do, which I'm super proud of, is what we, what we did was like make comedy out of life, you know, and and that's the hardest kind of, you know, comedy to do, like the you know the Tower Heist and those things. I'm like. There was obviously comedy, and you were doing punchlines. But here, a lot of the time, it was like us fighting, in a way. You're like, "Why would you do that, man?" You know. And then, and then the comedy comes out of there. The comedy also comes out of like two guys that are brothers. You know what I mean? That can get mad at each other, be really honest. And uh, when when there's like a lot of honesty, then it's I think it's awesome kind of comedy because I'm like, if I I said, you know, I think you should marry a Mexican girl, I'm like, I think it'd be awesome. You'd be around more often. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any pranks and said was like a light had you know it was a very like yeah, dramatic, dramatic when you're shooting we, when you were like when they would say cut time. was that was it fun like were you guys we, all, yeah all the time we, we were sitting yeah. in a car together all the time I mean yeah. what about that time we were on a ride along to Blues up they they joked us they they took us down an alleyway. And they took us out. They took us out an alleyway, and we, they were like, Shh, they pulled out their guns, and then we were walking on. And then all of a sudden, like we heard, like pop, 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 like there was some sort of gunfire, and they had thrown firecrackers down. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike and I were like. <laughs> 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 so it seems like you have fun, but Jake, did you learn something about the Hispanic uh, culture during the process of the? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know. Oh wow, sorry. Oh, I gotta take this. No. It was me calling you. As <laughs> 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 Hitting me from all sides. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, just being around the neighborhood, like particularly, I mean, all different facets of it. But I'll start with the neighborhood first in Southeast LA. Like just being in that neighborhood for five months. You know, not in the specifically in the you know the violent scenario, which we were in a couple a number of times over you know five months of doing ride alongs two or three times a week. You know, but when it when it came down to hanging out in the neighborhood and being amongst the people, like ninety five percent of the community there is incredible. Like 
the like the families I see, the people I interacted with, the food that was there, you know, every everything there made me fall back in love with LA. Like I was I was born here and raised here in a completely different part of Los Angeles. Tacos. You know? We went to the hood to have tacos and he's like, oh. Yeah. Because <laughs> they make them a little bit different. And it was like it was really cool.